crafters, Lisa here from Fun Stuff Crafts. So glad you stopped by my channel today. And I can't wait to show you my tutorial on making mast extenders. But before we get to that, if you're new to my channel, thanks for stopping by. And down below, make sure you click on the subscribe button and click on that little bell and YouTube will alert you each time I upload a new video. So it's Inspiration Friday again, and we are ready for another project. So. What are we going to do today? Today we are going to make mast extenders. I got inspired by this by my niece who is a medical provider and she had reached out to me and said, Aunt Lisa, is there anything you can do to help save my ears? Um, I'm wearing my mask all day long and uh, my ears are just raw. So I got to thinking, what could maybe I, I could do for her? I'd seen lots of different ones. I looked around Pinterest, see what other people were making. And then I saw a post where somebody had said, what's everybody doing with their scrap material for making masks? And I thought, hey, I could take scrap material and I could do something to help Corey out to help save her ears. So this is my take on a mask extender scrap piece of material and the idea here is it works with an elastic strap mask. Now this is one of the very first masks that I ever made and what the idea here is is I'm going to put the um, extender on the elastic ear pieces and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to be able to put my mask on and I'm going to have it hanging around my neck. I don't need it right now, but then when I do need it, I can pop it right up. My hair doesn't get all tangled up in here. I can pop it all up and it's not pulling on my ears. I'll turn around so you guys can see the back of it. I've got it right going along the back. It's not pulling on the ears. And so I've made a couple versions of this. This one that I have on right now is with snaps. And I'm also going to show you in the tutorial how to do one with buttons. But I really like the snaps and I picked up a really cool um, snap kit that has all different color snaps. So can't wait to show you this project. So why don't you give me a minute. I'm going to get my camera angle changed and I'm going to show you this quick easy tutorial on what to do with your scraps from your mask making that are really going to help save a lot of ears out there. So let's get started with this Inspiration Friday project. So like I showed you earlier, these are what I call mask extenders. So I've got two versions here. One is with snaps that works really easy. And so basically all you're going to do is you've got your mask. Now it doesn't matter what style of mask you use. As long as it's a mask that is made with elastic, you are just going to take the extender and you are going to put that on your mask. You can pull it right over your head. And then as you use your mask, you can pull it up on your nose. And as you don't need it, you can um, lay it down. Now I've seen lots of other styles that just have straight buttons. But when you undo the mask, the mask falls. So this is why I decided to come up with this style. You can see I used my Cricut to um, add a little bit to this. Um, as I said earlier, this was inspired by my niece who is um, works in the medical industry. And she had messaged me and said, um, Aunt Lisa, is there something that you can make to help save my ears for my mask? So I've got the snap version. I really like the snap version, but I know not everyone has snaps on hand. And so I thought it would also be a good idea to do a button one. And so with the button, again, I did do a button hole on my sewing machine. I've got the button. So let's just take the snaps off of this one. So the idea would be same thing here. You're just going to um, put the mask strap right there around the button. So same type of deal, um, one is with snaps and one is with buttons. So we're going to go ahead and make these right now. And I'll tell you guys, um, as I said earlier too, um, I saw a post of somebody said, what is everybody doing with their scraps from making masks? This is a great project um, to use for your scraps. So let's go ahead and get started with what you're going to need here. So 
I've already cut out um, some material and I did use um, my Cricut mat and I used my um, measuring plate here along with a rotary blade. I'm finally figuring out how to use a rotary blade. But the nice thing about this, you guys, is these are literally just scraps of material. So I just want to show you. This is um, a piece that is, sorry about that, it is three inches by eight inches, okay? So three, o'clock, three across, eight in length, okay? So that's all you're going to need. I, I just happen to have a couple cut here because I'm going to be making um, a few of them. But we're going to go ahead and use our purple material. The other thing that you're going to need is you are going to need some snaps or some buttons. So um, I just use the smaller size button um, and then um, the snaps. Now this snap, snap um, packet I picked up on Amazon and I'll make sure I link it down below. It came with all different colors of snaps. So this one's really kind of fun um, as you're going through your material. Um, you can you know pick whatever color matches with your um, material. So I'm going to go ahead and we're going to make this one with the, the purple snaps. Okay. So the other thing I like to use, um, lots of people turn with different things, but I'll show you what I'm going to be using this knitting needle for in just a minute. So we've already got our material all cut. Um, and so we are going to um, press it. Now, I just got this pressing pad. Um, I've always used my Cricut one that goes with my Easy Press, but I had saw a post on, um, actually on Facebook, and it was talking about lots of quilters use these wool mats. And let me tell you, I've been using it now that I've been making the mass, and I'm not using steam on my iron anymore, um, and these just give a really nice um, um, press. So what I'm going to do is I've got my 3 inches by 8 inches, I've got my good side facing up. I'm going to fold it lengthwise and I'm going to give it a really good press. Okay, so we're just going to press it. Sometimes I like to just turn it over just to give it a really nice press. Okay, very easy. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to take it over to the sewing machine. Now I want my corners to be finished really nice. So I'm going to take it over to the sewing machine. I'm going to backstitch and I'm going to stitch here. I'm going to go all the way to about right there. Then I'm going to leave that spot open and I'm going to start stitching there and I'm going to go back around. So if we wanted to mark that, and sometimes that's a good idea to do, is you can just go ahead and mark it. And so that way I know do not sew here. Okay. So I'm going to pop over to my sewing machine. I'm going to put that stitch in. I'm going to put that stitch in and I'll be right back with you. So now I hope you can see that stitch and I left that open where we talked about and then um, as we've talked about before you always want to clip as you go. So I'm just going to clip my threads there and now one thing that I want to do is I want to make sure these edges are nice and crisp I call it and so I'm going to clip off the corners of both of these edges and then this is where we're going to turn it right side out and this is where my knitting needle comes in. I know there's lots of tools out there that you can turn with um, but I've got a whole bunch of knitting needles that I inherited um, from my grandmother and um, knit that often anymore but let me tell you they come in handy when you've got to turn material like this around. Now if the if you are making these um, for yourself you can definitely measure um, and make sure that it's going to be the right um, distance but I've made quite a few of these and these seem to be a good length. So now that I've got it turned um, right side out I like to just kind of snap it and pull it and then what happens is that opening that I've got right there it kind of folds just naturally under. Okay, And so then I'm going to take my iron and I'm going to press it again. So you guys this is just a really quick and easy process.
project, but let me tell you, um, those all of our medical workers have to wear those masks for such a long period of time, and I've seen some of the terrible pictures of what their ears look like. So anything that can save an ear, right? So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take it back over to my sewing machine, and I'm going to go as close to the edge as possible, and I'm going to top stitch all the way around. Okay, so just top stitch all the way around. So I'll be right back. So I'm back from the sewing machine and I'm not quite sure you might be able to see that is I definitely use a coordinating thread and I've got just a top stitch all the way around. So that opening that we had is all closed up now. So now what we want to do is um, on the original one I made, I had put the snaps so that they were going to be against the person's head and that's not going to be as comfortable. So what I want to do this time is I am going to take it and I am going to make the snaps come this direction. And so what you want to do is you want to measure in how far that you want to place the snaps. Okay, so I think that looks just about right there. And I could get my measuring out to make sure that I've got these even. So if I take this and I come in one inch, I give it a good press. And then I'm going to come in one inch on this side. And I'm going to give it a good press. Okay, so now we know that our ends are going to be the same. Now, this took me a little bit of practice with the snaps. I'm going to raise this up so you guys can see this a little bit better. These snaps, there's three different sections to the snaps. Um, so you've got, I call it the, the cover, right? So I need, um, for each snap, I need two of those. And then you've got the, um, the male and the female part, and then I've got the other side. So let's walk through this together and it'll probably make a little bit more sense. Um, as you're going through it, it's always a good idea just to pull out the ones you're going to need. And sometimes what I like to do is just make sure they're going to snap together. So I know that that's how those go together. So what we're going to do is we are going to, we want to snap this way. So the very first thing I like to do, and you could use a hole punch here, but this material being cotton, this just pushes right through. So I'm just going to push the cover through, okay? And then I am going to take one of the other sections, okay? And I'm just going to place it right on top there. And then the kit comes with this guy. And there is a bottom part that's all nice and flat. And this is where we're going to lay the cap or the top. And this part is going to press down into it. So what we're going to do is I'm going to put it just in just like that. You guys can see my cap is here. Okay, so that is this part is down on the bottom. And then I'm just going to press really hard. And you can see my snap is all in place. Then what I like to do is push it down, okay? And then what you're going to do is take the other half and you can feel through here to make sure that you've got it just in the right spot. And I just kind of let go of it and I poke my hole through, okay? Now I want to make sure I've got the other side of the snap that's going to snap into this one. Okay, I'm going to do the exact same thing. I'm going to put the cap on the black. Get my fingers here, right? And I'm going to do the middle or the other part there. So 
the cap is here again and I'm going to go really hard with my hands and we have just put a snap together. Okay, let me take it apart. Perfect. So let's do the other one. We'll do one more. Okay, so that way we've got our set done. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take that cap and it's got, it's really pointy. And so in this case, I'm just going to push it right through. Now, if you are using a thicker material, you might want to use like a hole puncher to create a hole there, but you really don't need to do it with, with this. Now, what I like to do too, is I like to open up. So I make sure that I put the right pieces in the right spots. So it matches up. So I know that I am going to put my female part there and I'm going to have my cap on the bottom and I'm going to push and get that in nice and good. Okay. So the snaps in there. I'm going to fold it over. I'm going to come on this side and I'm going to push it through. So I know right where it's at. Open it back up. Push it through. Put my male part in. Pop that right in here. And go with my snap. Okay, so now let's grab our mask. So we can see how this one's gonna go. This is the this is my first version of mask that I was making. Just happened to have that one handy. And so what I would do is I would just put that there. I would put that there. And now this is going to go across my face. And then this is going to go around the back of my head. So how easy was that to make? Scrap material that we used. You could do the exact same thing here. And I can make another one and I can do it with buttons. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and sew that together and do one with buttons and I'll show you the end result. Goes together exactly the same way. Instead of a snap, you're going to sew on a button and then of course you need a button hole. So this little guy is so handy. I use it for all kinds of different crafts and I was so excited to open up my drawer and remember that I had all these different colors of snap. So I just want to give you guys an idea of the different colors that comes in the kit. So you get all different colors of snaps. So if you think about all the material you've been using for your masks and all these cute little snaps that you can add to it. So um, I would recommend going the snap route, um, but if you don't have snaps, then I recommend that you put in a buttonhole and you add some buttons. I almost forgot to show you one other thing to customize these, kind of like I did on the original one, is this is just a really small space. Um, and you guys can see this is the one I went ahead and made it. This is the one with buttons. So I went ahead and put my buttonholes in. And I just went ahead and cut out Fun Stuff Crafts, kind of hard to see there, um, on with my Cricut Maker using my absolute favorite weeding tool, my um, 651 um, pin pin weeding tool. And this is just a great project for the little Easy Press Mini. So I'm going to go ahead and press it just real quick there. I'm going to put my heat transfer vinyl on there. I went to the heat guide and it said 25 seconds um, for 100% cotton and so I'm just going to press that right on. You guys this is really fun like I did a heartbeat here because this is something that my niece wanted on hers but just think about you guys could customize these. You could make these extender straps the same color as the mask. You could put people's names on it. Um, that way everybody knows whose is whose. Um, just so many different things that, um, that you can do here. So 
just a fun little project. You guys all know how much I love my maker. And so I just wanted to add a little bit something extra to this one. So I think I'm right at about 25. And lo and behold, there we are. We have got a um, extender now. And if I button these back in, if I place that just right, you're still going to be able to read Fun Stuff Crafts there. So there you go, you guys. Here's some great ideas, um, things that you guys can do with your scrap material. Um, and these are just a couple ideas that I came up with um, just to be able to save some ears. So really hope you enjoyed this Inspiration Friday. Thanks for joining me. And here's some close-up views of these mask extenders that we made today. I'm so glad you joined me. And if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. And leave a comment down below. I'd love to hear from you. And don't forget to check out my blog at funstuffcrafts.com for other Inspiration Friday tutorials.